Okay, so it's 7 in the morning in Bangkok and this is our first full day here. Yesterday we were so jet lagged we just conked out, fell straight asleep. Never been so tired in my whole life I don't think. Um, but it's all completely worth it. It's fantastic to be here. And it's, it's actually not as hot and humid as I thought, I thought it was going to be. Because people, a lot of people online were saying that um, it's, it's, you can't even breathe, but I don't find that to be the case. But uh, we have this cool little rooftop area. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of shit going on up here. But um, it's, the view from up here is spectacular. And um, yeah, it really feels like we're in a big, awesome city. So. Get some food for the week, do some exploring. Head to MBK, maybe. Don't know. Let's see how the day goes. <sighs> Five stories in like serious humidity. It's good if we're gonna get really fit. So many steps. Oh my god, we're in the middle of Bangkok. What could I cause these? Dinosaurs. Okay, so we came to this park, I'm not really sure what it's called. And then we, we were just looking in this lake and I thought I saw, I thought it was a rock. But it's actually a little turtle lake. So we were just looking for food and we've sat down now in um, Benchasiri Park. And it's pretty cool, there's like tons of people running around jogging about. In, even though it's really fucking hot. And playing basketball and shit. And the gyms. And there's loads of outdoor gyms, yeah, loads of, loads of buff Thai people working out. We woke up at like, um, at like 3 a.m. just because we were jet lagged the, the day before and we went to sleep really early. And uh, so we woke up and we watched the sunrise at the top of our apartment, which is so wicked, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was really cool. Took a time lapse. Took a time lapse and it was a really shit time lapse. Oh, yeah. So, okay, no, we didn't take a time lapse. So, uh, we left the house then and we tried to go to Klong Dao Market and um, it was really cool. It smelled really, really interesting. And everyone was, was staring at us. Everyone was staring at us because we were foreigners. We were white. We really white. We were so pasty. Uh, yeah, we left there because we realised we had no money. <laughs> so we came back and we decided to go look for some food because we were starving. But uh, we're going to show you some guys playing basketball now, some local dudes. Veganery, but like not the bakery. It's kind of like an offshoot of it, and they do more kind of savory food here, like burgers and curries and stuff. Never arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. We got some wicked food. Let me show you. Okay, so this is my. It's like a pulled pork burger. And the pulled pork is mushrooms, and it's it, it's extremely extremely good. I've never tasted anything like it. Give you a chips, barbecue sauce, ketchup, garlic, mayo, onion. We need a gluten free spring rolls. So we are in Terminal Twenty One. It's a giant shopping center. It's really cool because um, it's airport themed, and each floor is uh, you know they have these signs. And it's like departure to whatever country. And this level is Tokyo. And there's all sorts of like Japanese lanterns and everything. It's pretty good. We're in like Thai expensive kind of place, kind of like Thai Whole Foods or Thai Marks and Spencers. And we found possibly the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Check that out. Oh my god, it's terrifying. 